Hey, what's going on, you misguided, morally moored, malevolent, Ming the Merciless muffin mongers? <laughs> Welcome to Grunt Speak, not so. Actually, it is live from the lair. <sighs> I'm the milky banana, and that hunk of stud muffin over there is Biggie Cheesecake. Mm. Yeah. I just wanted to give him the worst rapper name possible. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why do you do such things? Uh, I told my son I would do it. Ah, okay. Just to mess with you. All right. Well, you got to do what you got to do. I he's guess. got opinions, even though he's only eight. Uh, it's all right. I was like, it's, well, it's like Biggie Cheesecake. He's like, it's funny. I'm like, it kind of is. Uh, okay. Just considering, you know, mm. your portly Punisher physique. You know, you're tr trying to slim out a little bit there. So. I've slimmed out a lot. Yeah, but you kind of plateaued, though. Well, like one one ninety something. I fluctuate between one ninety one ninety eight, and I'm I'm cool there. If I go a lot lower, then I feel weak and it's all messed up. Oh, that's never good. No. Yeah, I'm just now uh, starting to get my endurance back because I, I like starved myself for so long. I, I fucked myself up. Yeah, you don't want to go back to ranger school. No, pop. No, no. S surly king dong eating. Yeah, just yeah. a mean guy. It just wouldn't mean. work out too well for you. Cranky son of a bitch. But hey, you know, you keep working on things, and you, you work on that, that girlish figure of yours. Who knows? Maybe you two one day can be Miss Universe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> this this oh, shit. insanity <laughs> has gone <laughs> far enough. This is real. I, is if you guys have not seen the video, this is the new owner, and I'm I'm, I'm gonna butcher the shit out of this. Jackafong, Jack Rajuta Tip. Is he from Thailand or something? J Juta Tip. Uh, I believe so. Yes. So it's one of those Thailand lady boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Now listen uh, to his voice, man. Good here point. we go. The Miss Universe organization. Uh, from now on, it's gonna be. Ran by women. Now, not women. We, we men. men. Yeah. <laughs> Owned by trans women. Oh. For all women. Sure. Sure. I, what do you even say? For all women really around the world. To <laughs> Listen. And you know where the ratings are going to go after this? <laughs> what, what were the ratings on this one? Don't even know. All right. Don't really care. Okay. To celebrate the power of women. Women. Not even whammin anymore. It's women. This is going to be the new pronunciation, I think, from here on forward. Women. You, uh, you're, you're a weeman? <laughs> you're I a gotcha. weeman. I gotcha. Maybe that's what he calls uh, what's left of his schwang Well, downstairs. Sports Illustrated did the same thing in their, what, in their calendar last year or the year before last. Some <sighs> Sports Illustrated has been burning in. <laughs> like a space shuttle on re-entry. Yeah. Like, I mean, they are, the, as far as I'm concerned, Sports Illustrated can go the way of the dodo bird. Like, all of these woke companies pulling this BS. They need to get wiped out. Bye-bye. And listen, we're starting to see it. Yeah. Well, Hollywood. Of course. 2022, they took an absolute pounding. Everything they put out, all of that woke trash, people shut their wallets and are, are not participating. As they shouldn't. All right. And Disney has lost half, a little over half its stock value. Yeah. And they're, they're playing musical chairs with CEOs. And I think they're actually planning to sell Disney to Apple. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, that's what I think is happening because they, they royally screwed the pooch. I, wow. I don't think they can pull back from this. And, and quite literally, I want all of America... All of the middle, the guys in the middle, all the conservatives to slam your wallet shut and man cut Disney until it dies on the vine. Yeah, exactly. Same thing with it. You, you see anything in any movie that has any woke horse shit in it, don't see it. Yeah. Just don't, just I've been shut avoiding, your wallet. I've been avoiding certain studios like The Plague, yep. and it seems to be I'm not the only one. Because last year, Universal and Paramount cleaned house. Yes. Even Sony had its moments. Now that Amy Pascal is kind of like, yeah, kind uh -huh. of flapping in the breeze. She allegedly, you know, was the producer on Spider-Man No Way Home, but we all know who the real mastermind of that actually was. And that was Sony's only real hit the entire year. Yeah, pretty much. But, uh, yeah, Universal's cleaning house. They're doubling Disney's take on family films with fewer releases. And Paramount released... <laughs> 
Top Gun Maverick. I don't need to say anything else. That's right. And uh, look, I'm serious. If you get a whiff of any woke anything, do not open your wallet for that. I don't care if it's a comic book, a gum wrapper, uh, a coffee shop. You know, get just, just don't do business with them. Uh, what Gillette with that bullshit they put out <laughs> yeah. three years was it three years ago? Yeah, about three four years ago almost. Yeah, and uh, I mean, listen, if they're bad mouthing you as a man. Just for being a man, especially if you're a white guy and all you're did, doing is an existing, don't reward them with your money. No. And if you have HBO Max, for the love of God, don't watch Velma. Oh, yeah. I, I've been contemplating doing a show on that. Just uh, <laughs> live from the lair. <laughs> I watched. Guess by a thousand paper. I, I've cuts. watched like uh, a, a couple of like, Critical Drinker. There was another guy who did a review on it. And I'm like, do I really want to punish myself? I'm not sure you do. Uh, we'll There's see. There's so much good Scooby-Doo content out there that people don't even know exists. And most of it is already on HBO Max. My son is discovering a lot of the older classic stuff. Oh, he's yeah. A, he's avoiding Scrappy-Doo. You know, good, good on him. I used to watch <laughs> the rest uh, of it's fine. Scooby-Doo was one of my favorite cartoons when I was between the ages of like 6 and 11. Yeah, me too. And then I went to, uh, what is it, uh, Space Ghost? Of course, Space Ghost. And then Thundar the Barbarian. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah, I love those shows. Boom. And, uh, and there's so much good entertainment out there. I mean, that you go back. I mean, we've been doing the moving pictures now for 100 years. So why even watch <clears throat> anything new when you've got decades and decades of backlog before any of this shit was forced so mainstream into your face that it's all you can see? Mm-hmm. Go back and watch that shit. That's I'm, I'm watching Babylon 5 right now. I've been watching it. 30 I'm, years late, I'm watching it. I'm re-watching it right now. I'm on uh, the middle of season two. Hell yeah, I just uh, hit season four. Yeah. Phenomenal. Uh, yeah, I, maybe one day they'll uh, remake that. And, and make yeah, it more they're talking about remaking it right now, from what I understand. J. Michael Straczynski is in the process of negotiating with, the, unfortunately, the CW. Yeah, yeah. Who they is, put out Batwoman. Who is your favorite character? Uh, Mine is Jakar. Yeah, I, I got to go with like Jakar and, J- and Delenn, yeah. It's Jakar. I mean, that, that dude is just a beast. Yeah, he is. <laughs> I, I'm just watching the one in season four where they beat the shit out of him, give him like 30 lashes with this thing. Uh, the neural and, whip. The, the neural whip, and then they, when that doesn't work, they pluck his eye out. And nope. he still breaks the chains that are supposed to be too strong to break and fucking starts taking on a whole room full of <laughs> Centauri. Yeah. Yeah, it's a car. Yeah, I lo- that, was, that was damn good. Yeah, and it's the same actor who plays the one-armed man in one of my favorite movies of all time, The Fugitive. Mm. Great fucking movie. He played the one-armed man? Yeah, same actor. Really? He's dead now, you know that, right? Yeah, actually, that's like the Babylon 5 curse. Uh, like 85% of the principal cast of Babylon 5 is dead. Yeah, oh, that sucks. Yeah. Sucks just like a ghost vacuum. Well. What are you going to do, man? Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> it doesn't suck nearly as hard as the mayor of New York. Uh, here we go. This is one of the most right, hang on, hilarious hang on. self-owns in the history all right. of news. All right, before you switch over, yeah, I just want you all to just relish this. All right, <laughs> And I want all of the cities in red states that are getting hit with all of this illegal aliens to round them up and send them right to New York and right to California. Damn right. I mean, just send them all there. Because these are the people telling telling us that we're the istophobigates. If we don't want to be sanctuary cities and welcome these people into the country with open arms and open wallets. Well, that's I know, because, I mean, I was homeless for like a little over six months. I ran into a lot of people. Like a lot of more veterans, who just cannot get out of the out of the gutter, yeah. But yet we're we're hand, they, they come across the border. We hand them yeah their first year sixty to seventy dollars one worth third. of value worth of aid and whatever. One third of the homeless are veterans, but I'm supposed to open my wallet for these motherfuckers. Yeah. No, I'm not doing it. No, I, I'm sorry. Hell no. Now listen, if they want to emigrate here, fill out the paper, wait in line, and do it correctly, That's fine. I'm fine with that. Yeah. If you want to talk to me about, you know, 
crafting new policy that actually allows for a more expedient, less bureaucratic bullshit way for immigration into this country, sign me up. I, I, will, I will lend my ideas to that discussion. But this ain't it. No. Right here. Although this is hysterical. Mayor Eric Adams just went to El Paso to whine that New York City can't fit any more illegal aliens. Yes, it can. Yes, it uh, can. You want to know why? Yeah. Because here we go. There we are. Yeah. Chronicle. Population. The pandemic prompted, actually it was a hell of a lot more than that, prompted exodus from New York City. The, in 2021, New York City's population plunged by nearly 4%. 336 thousand people right. just in new york city and this piece of shit said we can't take anymore too bad uh, a thousand illegals you should take them we just want to vote for the policies that allow them in the country we don't actually want to take care of them well no, no no and look uh Gah! i mean it, this is so aggravating <laughs> because the people in these blue cities are running up these huge deficits giving away free shit so people keep voting yeah. for them they have no nothing to stand on. No. When was the last thing the Democrats put anything forward that was actually uh, good for the country or made sense? Never. It's, it's been <laughs> I, maybe 10, 12 years. At least. I mean, the, the last thing, the last good thing I can remember a Democrat doing was when Obama just got out of the way of fracking. That was it. And because of that and the subsequent deregulation of the industry under Trump, that we became a net energy exporter. Yep. Which, uh, you know, that got pissed away in an awful hurry, didn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. or, the, uh, get, get ready for 6 and $7 a gallon coming this summer, ladies and germs. Yeah. It's going to happen. But by the plagiaristic, lying, criminal, traitor, our dictator in chief. Oh, he's tasted all the dick. Yes, he has. This is hilarious. Mayor of New York traveled to the Mexican border city of El Paso on Sunday and declared there's no more room in New York for busloads of migrants being sent to America's most populous city. Eric Adams, a Democrat, was also critical of the Biden administration, saying now's the time for the national government to do its job about the immigrant crisis at America's southern border uh, that people like <laughs> you, Mayor Eric Adams, helped to create. Yeah, congratulations! I, literally, I want to see you know hundreds of thousands of these idiots shift to, to New York and, and L.A. Yeah, it's hilarious, and he's whining here especially because it, it could cost the city as much as two billion dollars when we're already facing a budget shortfall. So, well, so what? You give well, one, you're shit. giving away shit for free. Now, here's a way. This this is actually a type of in, kind of ingenious. Are we are we going into evil genius we're pop going mode into here? Evil okay, genius. we got it. All right, so you have a lot. Most of the counties in this country are Republican and conservative. Now, they elect sheriffs for these counties. If these sheriffs decide, you know what, I'm going to round up illegals, they round them up and they ship them all to these two destinations on each side of the country. I, I can almost guarantee you within six months, the immigration policy of this country will change. Mm -hmm. Because if the whole country says, not not my county, get the fuck out, and there's nowhere else for these people to go, they're gonna, it's going to crush these blue cities. And you don't have to fire a shot. You have to, you're not even doing anything illegal. It's aggravating. It might you know, border on unethical. But you know, this is our fucking country. I, I think we could get beyond the unethical thing. Yeah. It goes, God... Country, family, friends. There you go. In that order. Although at this point, I would swap family and country just because it's obvious that our country does not give a flying fornification about us. Uh, well, the government. The, the, the people, yeah. The people in the country, they care more about each other. Like, on the ground, the division isn't that bad. Outside of leftoid cities. Yes. Let's be completely clear. But you can say the same thing about virtually any crime statistic. And here's another thing I would like to see the conservatives start doing. Hmm. I want them to become as you know, ill-tolerant as the left. The left is just like canceling people left and right for virtually anything. Of course. Can you imagine if the right did that now? Because <laughs> there's way more of us than them. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you're seeing it. With the, the people, you know, sh slamming their wallets shut on a lot of these industries that are grooming your children. Yeah, Literally grooming. grooming, yeah. 
That's exactly what it is. It is disgusting, is what it is. It is. But uh, hey, all right, this is <laughs> what are you right. gonna do? Now, hang on. I got. I, got t- I, I talked about this during the supporter stream. Oh, I know. I was going to read the chats before we get into it. All right, all right. Because we got uh, some already pouring in here about this first uh, bit of conversation here. We got 646 watching on YouTube. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Uh, Cliff3188, Old Joe only has to survive five more days. What does that have to do with it? I honestly don't know. Uh, Yeah, can (laughs) you clarify that one? Uh, Dung is fun. Blake, have you seen Velma? Don't see it. Saw the whole thing for free. I want my time back and my mental sanity. It was trash. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm not going to. I'm sorry. I, I just that's really the best form of resistance that you can get. Not giving it your time. Not giving it your money. That's right. You can make more money. You can't make more time. No. Uh, Brian, I like that video. The cost of puzz of pussy. <laughs> Apparently, they won't let you use the actual word in the YouTube chat. All right, so let, let us know in, in the comments if you thought that was fairly accurate. <laughs> the value of poop. Because you men should start doing that. Yep. The minute you find out, hey, she's been with uh, you know five guys before you, that means your chances of divorce go through the roof. Yep. It, it, literally, they don't get full value. They don't even get main effort anymore. No. They're just entertainment. Damn right. Fill up all of her holes. Good to see you, sir. Last thing that get Democrats did good was leave office. Mm. Uh, not soon enough, unfortunately. Uh, ES, New York City can't handle more. Texas, Arizona, Florida, send them a million. Let them crash in the Empire State for all I care. Let New York be the moral superpower. <laughs> That's right. Let them. <laughs> hey, you know. The thing is, you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes, and uh, this is one of the dumbest games that they've ever attempted to play. Yeah, this is this is just this is crazy. It's beyond crazy. Uh, but it's time we talk about the Caralago, and I oh, know that yeah. you you had a lead in for this, so I'm going to turn it over to you. All right. <clears throat> in my 33 years in the service, I know about eight individuals uh, who got basically uh, slammed for violating OPSEC. Of the eight, six of them, you know, were reduced in rank. One was, you know, given a general discharge. But two of them actually did hard time. We're talking one did three years, one was five years in Leavenworth. Ooh. And uh, it, were they doing do – I, do I think they were doing it uh, purposely – no, but you know they had three or four uh, obsec violations within a year, and then they finally just slammed them. Yeah, and, and you know it is what it is. Now we we've ha- we've had you know Hillary to sh- have a server in her house, mm-hmm. actually instructed her staff to destroy all of the evidence in the phones. Yep, and it hasn't been fuck all done about it. No, and when the FBI decided to absolve her of wrongdoing they flat out said yes she broke the law but she didn't mean to last i heard ignorance of the law was not an excuse it doesn't matter well it's not an excuse for people like you and me correct but for the globalist elites who want to and subject that, the rest of us to nine dollar cartons of eggs uh, they get to do whatever the hell they well, want. i mean here's another thing that's going to happen as this uh, double standard uh gets worse and worse you're going to start seeing people just saying, fuck it, I am not obeying anything the law enforcement has to say. Mm. And then when you have enough people doing that, and then it becomes very dangerous for the law enforcement to do their job. Mm-hmm. So it would probably be in their best interest to just keep it at one standard, which we know they're not. No. So, I mean, I mean, that's what's going to happen. Oh, uh, Cliff3188 clarified five more days till Inauguration Day, and then Kamala can run for the next 10 years. Yeah, because there's not enough honking in the world to get that shrill, cackling kontaha into the office of the presidency. Not, not, not elected by the people. Not like the current dictator in chief was, uh, you know. He got ice cream social <laughs> in. Yeah. He got ice cream socialed into the seat. Most popular president ever. Yeah. yeah. Listen, you look at the guy. You know there's a, there's a hand up his ass. He's nothing but a sock puppet. Yep. He is out of his mind. I think he's legitimately crazy. He, he's got Alzheimer's disease. 
He's got all yeah. the earmarks yes, of full blown dementia. And he's only getting worse. Why do you think they have to deep fake so many of his so called public appearances now? You know what? I should let's have an assignment for our followers who actually do videos. Go through all of uh, the speeches Biden has done since he uh, got installed. Yeah, and then do like side by sides for him talking and yeah, deep watch fakes. his earlobes. <laughs> yeah, and, and then you just do side by sides him speaking deep fake. Yeah, my personal favorite was the one where the deep fake never blinked at all. Yes. Yeah, this isn't going to freak anybody out, is it? It's like you're. It's just just pretend you're watching a Nicholas Winding Refn film. <laughs> Nobody blinks. <laughs> Nah, it's crazy. <laughs> there was a scene in a movie that he made called Only God Forgives where he actually went through and digitally removed blinks on everyone in a shot that held for a protracted length of time just to see if people would notice because there was something that would just be a little bit off. Uh-huh. He's, the man's a true artist, but you really, really <laughs> got to have some patience to sit through a lot of his stuff. Yep. Unlike this stupid piece of shit. Uh, so we got the first batch of documents. This is one of three batches of classified materials that he did not have access to. Actually, he was not cleared for access to it yeah. at all, from what I understand, as the vice president, because these date back to 2013 and yeah. 2016. There's, there's two more incidents that's rumored to have happened. So. Yeah, there, there's three total. Well, no, five. Five now? Oh, shit. It, no, but okay. two, are, two are rumored. Two are rumored. Well, uh, three confirmed. Yeah. Two rumored. Two rumored. So classified docs found in Biden's private office from his time as VP include U.S. intelligence materials on Iran, the U.K., and da 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 Ukraine. Okay. And as a vice vice president at the time, Shocker. he did not have the authority to do that. He did not have the authority to remove those documents no. and take them he, he has no authority as a VP to declassify anything. Yeah. Meanwhile, back in September, on 60 Minutes, when the, Mar when the FBI raided Mar-a-Lago, how could anyone be that irresponsible? Okay, let's just do a compare and contrast, yeah. shall we? Yeah, I, I love these. Trump was the president. He could declassify the materials virtually at will. He was openly coordinating with the DOJ and the archive department in the storage of these things, and he went above and beyond by adding an additional lock of security. There's secret service detail and private security and a visitor's log at Mar-a-Lago. These were found in Joe Biden's garage. That was rented to his drug-addicted mm -hmm. uh, son who is involved in... Gathering funds for the big guy. I don't know what what the fuck this is. Why was he paying, according to a piece of uh, fifty thousand fifty thousand dollars a month to rent allegedly the house where the classified documents yeah, were found? It's, now this could be incorrect. It could be th the total rent for the year. But knowing Hunter Biden's you know pension for juggling the books they for just, the big guy, yeah. who knows? They just got to look and see what was deposited and what wasn't. Yeah, this is from a background screening test that Hunter Biden filled out here, and it says here monthly rent forty nine thousand nine hundred and so it's not it's per month. All right, now I've already looked on Zillow, mm. and if you want to rent a house in that area, top of the line, what's it forty five hundred to five thousand dollars? Yeah, it's a not month. nowhere near that much. That is. Ten times the value of the ritziest, most expensive apartment in that yep. area it to rent. Right here. Yep, the Zillow search reveals them the most yeah, expensive. Yeah, they did it too. Six thousand dollars. Okay, I had forty-five to five thousand, but yeah. Oh uh, shit! What the hell? Uh, that's the most expensive. So the median's probably way lower around that thirty-five hundred four thousand area. Three G's. Yeah, that and that's expensive. All right. Wow. So, <laughs> and, and just think of all of the tax. Uh, you know implications mm -hmm. uh, because if you're going that high i mean there, there's got to be a gift tax in there there hasn't been uh did did uh, old smoky joe uh smoky report joe. all of this income <laughs> on his tax and his tax returns probably not probably not well considering but the hey, fact that he hey. was supposedly the blue collar guy and then became a multi-millionaire within yeah. months of leaving office i think we know what was going but on. we know what's going to happen because they've already managed to get Trump's tax returns. They they yep. opened the door on this. Guess what's coming down the pipe now? The Republicans in the House are saying, well, then we should release everybody's tax yes. returns, Everyone. especially the Bidens. Everyone. Everyone. I want to see Pelosi's, personally. I want to see OC's. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do I write off medical insurance at the glory hole attendant? <laughs> Shit! <laughs> I can't write that off. Well, I'm going to sign it into law then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Never, ever go to AOC's glory hole. Not with those horse teeth. You're going to wind up getting that shit chipped off at the stalk like a carrot in Hell's Kitchen. You're going to get your P-Nice degloved. It's terrible. It's terrible. Pull, pull the skin off and turn it inside <laughs> out. That'd be great. AOC gives you a blowjob. You pull your dick out. It looks like something out of Hellraiser 2. Yeah. Oh it's disgusting. <laughs> my God! <laughs> Now, there's your muffin munging right there. Yeah. You give that woman a muffin top, turn it into a cupcake. It's quite disgusting. <laughs> second set of classified documents. So, yeah, we got the, the second set of documents that was confirmed later on after the initial report that it was found in his garage in his Delaware home. What a moron. Yeah, I know. How could anyone be so irresponsible? Wah, wah, wah. So, uh, yeah, why not? Uh, didn't he Thursday. say that about Trump? Yes, he did. Yes, he, how could anyone be so irresponsible? Except Trump wasn't being irresponsible with them at all. He was openly coordinating with the Archives Department and the FBI about their storage. I'm going to be Not honest. Not to mention, he was actually the president <laughs> and fairly elected. Like, if I ever became the dude at the top and it, it came my time to leave, I would shred everything. Yep. Because I, I, I don't need the headaches. The bad news bears, baby. Bad news bears. And then we have the third batch. <laughs> Another batch of classified documents just found in Biden's Delaware home. And that's the one that... Uh, the Delaware home is the one that was rented uh, supposedly to Hunter. Yep. Uh, let's see. Because I have security clearance, I went to Wilmington. This is from the article uh, that's linked above here. All these sources are available on redonculus.com, as always. Uh, went to the Wilmington Thursday evening to facilitate providing the document the president's personal counsel found on Wednesday to the Justice Department. While I was transferring it to the DOJ officials who accompanied me, five additional pages with classified markings were discovered among the material with it for a total of six pages. Now, one thing that a lot of people do not know about when these were first discovered, uh -huh. this, is a, this is a fun thing, and it is in the sources, so definitely check it out. The first batch of documents was discovered Six days before the midterms. Oh, yeah. And yet, Nobody they decided shit. to sit on this story until almost Inauguration Day. Yep. Um, Coinky dink? I don't think so. No. I'm pretty sure, you know, somebody asked Joe about it. What do you think, Mr. President? <laughs> you go got the ice cream? This is getting crazy. Yeah, well, let's just take care of it. You know, we'll give Joe an extra bran muffin, put him to bed early, and make sure you wipe his ass. <laughs> <laughs> my butt's been wiped. Oh, my Lord. And what is his defense <laughs> against the dark arts of those evil rhino Republicans? Oh, yeah. H hit me in his defense about being so irresponsible. It's not like they're sitting out on the street. Or, or actually, his real voice. It's not like they're sitting out in the street. What? Next to that boy, they're sitting on the curb licking an ice cream cone. Mm. But, but this, what they're not talking about here is those documents were unattended mm -hmm. in that house that, you know, a drug addicted, treasonous criminal, in my opinion, was living. Oh, no, it's not even an opinion. We I, have I, well, we, he hasn't been convicted. I can't we say. We have that. the receipts. I know. Laptop is proof. We'll check it out. Well, yeah, he has not been convicted. You're correct about that. But what we can say is that there are confirmed 459 crimes on Hunter's laptop. Yeah, you know, each image of kitty porn. <laughs> yep. I mean, that's a huge no-no. Let's see. So yeah, I wonder if anyone of the January 6th committee were mentioned. Uh, probably not. That's and one of them, this is, this is great. All right, the a CCP, lot of people don't talk about this. The CCP is funding child trafficking along with the Biden administration, housing thousands of children along, crossing the border, cashing in 15000 per child. Wow! Yep. Many of these children are bussed off or flown in the middle of the night to locations unknown. And I'm sure that when the people who are responsible for this are, are arrested and brought before a jury of their peers, uh, you know, their little black books with all the clients that they got trafficked to will also mysteriously go missing. Not like we've seen that before or anything. <laughs> no, yeah. no. And then here's another one. China's hypersonic missile program is being funded by U.S. taxpayers. Oh, my God. And San Francisco has spent over $1.7 million to build a toilet downtown to curb all the feces and urine in the streets due to massive homelessness indicative of a failed society. Before you get in line, it's still not finished. Of course it's not. Well, I know that, uh, you know, we had, you know, China producing a lot of uh, the electronics and high-end uh, equipment for us here in the States. 
And this was during Trump. They, I believe they found in a lot of these computer chips uh, built-in surveillance. I mean, literally, yeah. th- I mean, tr- the CCP not only is an enemy to this country, it is an enemy to any civilized country. Yeah. Those guys, oh, I mean, over in China, they're doing some reprehensible horse shit. Uh, and that's coming here. They yep. want that here. They do. That, that's what the Democrats oh. slash social crats, commie, commie crats want here in this country. And the only thing that's standing in the way of them implementing a lot of that shit are the First and Second Amendment. They're using big tech to get around the first. For they now. They still man. have not figured out a way to get around the second. They're trying. Yep. But every single time they try to pass one of these unconstitutional pieces of gun control that always gets injuncted. And, and please do me a favor, everyone watching, please search on the internet for results after successful gun confiscations. Uh, I'll, I'll save you the trouble. Hundreds of millions of people dead, slaughtered by their own governments. Correct. And it's there more than, it's, I mean, they estimated between 500 and 800 million people. Yeah. In the 20th Hundreds century. of millions dead. That's just in the 20th century. It's, yeah. That's but right. You 1901. Know, but you don't need a gun. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and you notice the people who say that you don't need a gun for any reason are all the, hoity-toity, nimbiest, silver spoon-fed, leftoid shitheads who live in the cities, yeah, and, and they, they want public education, they want public transportation, they think that the government should take care of them entirely. You want to know why? Because they're weak. And that's exactly how the government wants you. That's why they encourage things like fat positivity and things that turn you into a leech on productive people, because they want you weak, malleable and controllable when the shit hits the fan. They want you dependent on big government so that you'll vote for more of it. Yeah. And let's listen, I can't think of anything that the government got involved in that actually made it better. Not not one thing. <laughs> the United States government has only been successful at one thing. Fucking shit up. Okay, yeah. That's pretty much it. Everything government touches goes to shit. Goes to shit. Yeah. You yeah. are correct. And here's the funny thing, is the left today, they were the guys five years ago who hated big tech, Mm -hmm. who hated big pharma, who hated big government, and now all of a sudden, they are lockstep trying to march us into (laughs) a socialistic, (laughs) communistic hellhole. And what's hysterical is they still think they're the resistance. They're that stupid. Like, well, this system is unjust and it's systemically istophobigated and all this other stuff. Okay, but you vote to make it bigger. You think Big Pharma's evil and it overcharges for the drugs, and yet you thought that the people who didn't take the experimental jab should be fired. Correct. Or jailed. Give me a break. You're not the resistance. You're the establishment shills. You're the useful idiots. You're the brown shirts. You're going to be the first loose end that gets cut off if this plan comes to fruition. Yeah, they You're the want... useless eaters. That's right. They're going to march you into a pit, and it's not going to go well. Mm-mm. Because pits are only good for, uh, well, usually in, in, in the scheme of war, pits have been dug for two reasons, shit and bodies. Correct. And, you know, if you're burying communists, <laughs> all the above. Yep. Oh, but here it is. Here's, here's Joe. Here's baby Joe defending his position. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you. You can see how fucking confused he is. Look at, just look at his face. This is a man who's not only out to lunch, <clears throat> he's out for all three meals. But you mentioned something earlier about his counsel contacting the FBI and giving them the document. That speaks volumes to exactly who the people are who are controlling this man. Mm-hmm. They want him gone, and now they're attacking him. Yep. The oh, Uniparty yeah. has decided that they want him out. Yes. And it's not because, you know, <laughs> it's not because he's standing up for the little guy or anything like that. It's because he's outlived his usefulness. He, he, is, yes. he was the face that they could put up there that could conceivably boot Trump. And people wouldn't question it too much. Yeah, like that worked. Hey, Mr. President, Mr. President, okay. classified, classified material next to your Corvette 
What were you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> Let me, uh, look, I'm going to get a chance to speak on all of this, God willing, <laughs> soon. But as I said earlier this week, people, and by the way, my Corvette's in a locked garage. Oh, okay, yeah. So oh, yeah, yeah. Because okay. yeah, no one's ever been able to break into a garage. Yeah. I mean, w- was that garage an actual ASP, yep. an ammo supply point with, uh, you know, 15 meters of fucking dirt and a fucking <laughs> iron door that's eight inches thick? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure. Even if it was, you know who else would have the key? Xi Jinping and Zelensky. Yeah, they would have a key. And this dude's been bought and paid for. Yep. 10% for the big guy. Mm-hmm. And, of course, you know, they have to pretend like they actually care. So now we have uh, Shithead Garland here appointing a special counsel to investigate Biden's classified document scandal. And, you know, he just apparently, what's his name here? Robert Herr, not to be confused with Ben. Uh-huh. Uh, he's the one who has been appointed. And, of course, you know, they're going to talk all about his credentials. You know, he, he worked on the counterterrorism, corporate fraud, and appellate matters, blah, 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 blah. Here's the real thing. Scroll down here. Special counsel that A.G. Merrick Garland just appointed as FBI Director Christopher Ray's former assistant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because, you know. Yeah. It's basically, uh, the, you know, I'm investigating myself. Yeah. Get the fuck After out. thoroughly investigating ourselves, we have <clears throat> concluded we did nothing wrong. And you're just going to have to take our word for it, even though we spent your money to fuck you over, and now we're spending your money again to pretend like we're holding ourselves accountable. Yeah. Well, don't and, you love it? And we're spending your money to make it look like we care. Uh, we're different. We love you. On, let me put my care face on. All right, I'm done. <laughs> classic. Absolute classic. Just like this here. Even MSNPC has had to come out and admit that Joe Biden lied in 2018 about having classified documents in the same exact office where the classified documents were just found. What? A moron. Oh, yep. my God. Oh, there's pictures. Yeah, there it is. There. Joe Biden in 2018. I no longer have access to classified information. Joe Biden directly lied to Americans about stealing classified documents while literally sitting in the office where he stored them. Can Let's you play that? In 2018, Joe Biden addressed his access to classified information in an interview with me. This was in the context of Russia's interference in U.S. elections, and it was in that office. The Penn Biden Center. I don't have access to classified information anymore. I don't get briefed every morning by the agency, as I did for eight years. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, the Penn Biden Center, largely funded by the Chinese Communist Party. Yep. Who I'm sure had no access to these materials whatsoever. Yeah. I'm sure that they... <clears throat> never saw anything. I'm sure that there were no Xeroxed copies made and sent over as a thank you for the 10%. No, yeah. That's just This a is so goddamn here. obvious. <laughs> it, this is so infuriating. <laughs> Woo! Holy shit. And yet, th- th- like, the <clears throat> hope coming out of the media about this has been hysterical. But my Trump! Oh, oh Republicans are just going to use this to attack the Biden administration. Fuck yeah, we are. Oh, yeah, it's of treason! Course. It's treason. It's literal treason. Yeah. We know that the the Biden laptop was real. Mm -hmm. We know that these classified documents were improperly stored in the hands of somebody who had no business taking them out of the White House in the first place. Yeah. And have been there for what? Upwards of shit. Years. Years. Almost 10 years, some of them. Yeah. And you know what? Here's another thing. They just found six papers. What if they had a fucking thumb drive full of shit? Exactly. How the hell are you going to track that? Get the hell out of here. Bunch hey, let's let's shit. knock out some of uh, the super chats. On, on. You want to hear some cope first? Oh, yeah. We got some cope. We got the, we have definite cope here. Oh, here we go. And you can always count on getting the best quality cope from The View. Uh-huh. Uh, fat fuck Joy Behar has the perfect argument for why Biden's classified documents are not a big deal compared to Trump's. This ought to be good. Really, I but, mean, I, I think that no, what you just said is yeah, right, that, yeah. that there are differences in what happened. Yes, but you know, the are not good. Well, we all know that Trump is a liar and a thief, you know? Oh, really? Okay, so you're telling me that in what, seven years of investigations they into this nothing. man that have turned up exactly nothing? Yep. Well, they, they did find something. They found two nothing burgers. Yeah, they, yeah, they found. If you take a look at this burger, you'll see how tasty it is. And there's not a fucking thing there. Yeah. 
these idiots have trunch derangement syndrome so bad. I, I think they're taking it in enema form. Like th this is just beyond retarded. Yeah, so the canned applause from the stupid audience. To say that he obstructed and he lied. We don't think that Biden is a liar and a thief, so we give him the benefit of the doubt. That okay, you want to go down the list? Yeah, let's go down the list. Here we go. Biden plagiarized a speech from Neil Kinnock in 1988, forcing him to drop out of the presidential election. Lied about graduating at the top of his class. Lied about his son, Bo, dying in Iraq. Lied about being offered a job by an Idaho lumber company. Lied about driving an 18-wheeler as a professional <coughs> trucker. Lied about discussing business dealings with his son, Hunter. You know, the laptop with over 490 provable crimes on it. Mm -hmm. Lied about 0% inflation in July when inflation was already bananas crazy. Lied about visiting Pittsburgh's Tree of Life Synagogue after the 2018 massacre. Lied about being raised in a Puerto Rican community at home. Lied about being arrested in South Africa. Wow. Lied about being appointed to the Naval Academy. Lied about confronting the infamous gangbanger, Corn Pop. Lied about <laughs> pinning a silver star on a Navy captain. Lied about having classified documents to an MSNBC reporter in 2018 in the same office where the classified documents were found. And don't forget, uh, you know, he's lied about numerous other things as well. You know, Ukraine. Listen, <laughs> the dude is, is nothing but a liar. That's all he does. That's like all he they knows. They literally picked him because they knew he wasn't going to do much other than be a figurehead. He, he's, he's done nothing yeah. except sign a bunch of executive orders that the left didn't even bitch about, but yeah. they were all upset when Trump did the same thing. Of course. But Joe Biden signed more executive orders in his first week in office than, like, I think Trump did for his entire first yeah. year. Yeah. That, I mean, that's insane. Ugh. We need to pull back the reins on the executive branch a little bit. And one of the biggest problems that we've had with that is that Congress is full of such ass-kissing, covering pussies. Well, they're all in on it. They're all in, I just, they're all in on it, and they don't want to take the blame, so they keep <laughs> constantly shifting things to the executive branch. It began with W, really. Yeah. They just let him unilaterally declare war on Iraq with falsified information. We know that for a fact. I mean, come on. Yeah, that was stupid. This was supposed to be a check and balance system. That's how it was conceived of. And because it's no longer run by veterans, and it's mostly run by bureaucrats, lawyers, doctors, uh, proctologists, yeah. dream, wall-to-wall -wall assholes, this uh, is what you get. A bartender. Yeah, this is what you get. Yeah. Oh, and brother fuckers. Don't yeah. forget about that. Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. Brother fuckers and bartenders. That could be a band. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, taking the stage, brother fuckers and bartenders. <laughs> Try to charm your snake out of its basket so it'll bite and spit its venom, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's just disgusting. Oh, and of course, you know, Hunter having access to this stuff, not a big deal, right? The guy who got a foot job from his niece. Yeah. Banged, I don't know how many prostitutes. Smoked uh, a piece of Parmesan cheese because he thought it was crack. Well, I was watching a. Uh a report that he went through like $30,000 in a year on prostitutes. Well, it's probably all daddy's money. <laughs> or the 90% that he kept for himself from his daddy. There's always that yeah. too. But apparently the Biden name is just so important to this narcissistic, drug-addicted piece of shit that he doesn't want his estranged four-year-old daughter to take the name. Yeah. Oh, my wow. God. Is that the one that was from the stripper? Yes, that's from the stripper. Yeah. I just, uh, this, wow. This really He's asking the court to deny his estranged daughter his surname. Well, he's already a turbo dick. Oh, I know. I mean, and a criminal. this is not surprising me. You know, we know he's a, he's a proven criminal. We know yep. he lied on a background check about his drug use. He had which guns. Is a felony. Yeah, he had yep. guns. He had all kinds of shit he's not supposed to have. He's on, there's video of him using drugs. Yeah. Like literally on that laptop. 495 crimes. Not one member of the Biden family has even been indicted on charges over it. But you need to make sure that you declare those $600 transactions on Venmo. Otherwise, we're going to send the IRS after you. Huh. Yeah. Never mind that the Pentagon can fail five audits in a row with untold trillions of dollars missing. That's technically your money that you didn't have a say on where it went, who was bombed with it. Yep. None of these people are ever going to be held accountable. This is not what this fucking country was supposed to be. 
<sighs> yeah, you are correct. Ugh. And what really, really pisses me off is that we still have men and women in droves signing up for volunteer service to protect a country that they may believe on some level actually cares about them. It doesn't. No. I mean, you can, like, like there's 80, 8,600 people that were discharged for not taking the poke. Yep. Yeah. Aren't Each, they all possibly going to be re well, they're talking now about it. With back pay? Because that's exactly what should happen. Yeah, that's, yeah, that, it, they sh- that should automatically happen, but it's, I can tell you it's not. They're going to have to file a lawsuit. It's going to take two to four years to work its way through before we see any, th- those guys see any kind of closure, if they see any at all. Yep. My advice is this. Do not enlist in the military unless you have no other option. Mm-hmm. They will kill you, march you to your death, and it was bad enough when I was in because the officers in charge of me, most of them incompetent at best, and now you got trans officers in charge of you that have a legitimate mental illness. It's a recipe for disaster. Do not send your children into the meat grinder. Please. Amen to that. You know what? You deserve one of these. Yeah! Couldn't have said it better. I mean, listen, if you want a volunteer army, you don't treat them like goddamn guinea pigs. You have exactly- a little bit of respect. Yeah. Yes, you volunteered to come here. Yes, you're getting paid less than a dude flipping burgers, but you love the country. So we're going to reward you by turning you into a goddamn guinea pig. March you into harm's way with substandard soldiers, substandard training, lack of experience because all the people that had that left because they turned it into a fucking clusterfuck shit show. Yeah. Huh. Uh, and that really spun me up. Uh, good, good. Hey, hang on, hang on. I can feel your anger. It gives you focus, makes you stronger. Haven't played that one in a while. Yeah. <laughs> but don't pay attention to the man behind the curtain. Instead, we're going to gift wrap you something that's so ludicrous, so absurd, that we, as a culture, we're going to go to plaid. We're talking about press, uh, verbal prestidigitation? Prestidigitation, yes. The hand that's waving in your face is not the one giving you a reach around with a pair of brass knuckles, if you know what I mean. The Biden admin is actually considering a ban on gas stoves. People have thoughts. Now, this has blown completely out of proportion. Uh But it's a very, very useful distraction from the fact that all these classified document dumps are going on. And not to mention the Twitter files, proof that the DOJ was openly coordinating with the White House and everybody else and big tech to censor lawful speech. You know, and, you know, of course, the January 6th commission, they thought that was a useful distraction. No one gave a fuck. It was a kangaroo court. They allowed no exculpatory evidence to be presented. And they actually expected you to believe that the guy that they said was too overweight and probably not physically fit to hold the oath of office, you know, (coughs) was somehow becoming the mighty morphine power ranger. In the back of the Secret Service vehicle, he's gonna jump over, and he's gonna get, he's gonna grab the steering wheel and wrench it away from a Secret Service agent who's they've supposed to be in the prime apart. shape of his life. They, Give me a fucking break. They've already that never happened. No, of course they already never ripped happened. that apart. But every time you see something like this, that's clearly stupid and clearly designed to get attention. This is clickbaity shit. Always, always, always look for the real news because this, ladies and germs. Ain't it? Uh, I'm gonna have to agree with you on this. I mean, uh, now is this something that the libs want to pull in the future? Of course I'm they do. I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah. They bait and switch with this shit all the time. Yeah. They throw out a big ask, and then people freak out, and they say, "Well, we didn't really mean it." And that's what they're doing now. There's what's his name, a uh, Hochul from New York or an MSNBC reporter. Well, you know, the Republicans are so into conspiracies, they actually think that we want to ban gas stoves. Like, no, this was an official press release. The New York Post ran with it right here. Yeah. 
And then this was originally from like the American Consumer. Yeah, the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission says that a ban on gas stoves is on the table amid rising concern about harmful indoor air pollutants emitted by the appliances. All right, hang on a minute. Just hang on a minute. People have been cooking with gas stoves for about 100 years. Yes, you can kill yourself with a gas stove, but you have to leave the gas on. Yeah. Once you turn it on, for the most part, you're good to go. I mean, I've been around gas stoves my entire life. Some of the best cooking I've ever done in my, my, my mother's ever done or I've done myself is done on gas stoves. Hell, I have a gas stove here in the lair I spent $700 to get so Hell I yeah. can cook on it. And what's hilarious is that we know that natural gas is one of the cleanest things you can burn. Leftoids were the ones saying this years ago when they were trying to convince people to go to, you know, greener options for powering and heating their home. They were encouraging things like propane. And gas. They, they ran Discovery Channel specials about houses ran on propane. I watched them. Yep. I mean, and now all that, of a sudden, it's all bad. Yeah. Before that, I mean, we used to heat our houses with coal. Yeah. In fact, I've probably... If I get a nice house with uh, the ability to put a wood burner in there, I'll burn coal. I, I don't care. Uh, well, I grew up. Um, the house that I lived in in Oak Park still had an oil burning furnace in it. Yeah. When I was, and this was like a, a fucking, it looked like a big black octopus yep. down there. It, it was crazy. And then one day, all of a sudden, I came home and it was gone. And then there was this, just this tiny little thing downstairs, like wobbling back and forth on the floor because I hadn't hooked up ventilation for it yet. I'm like, so that's better than, than, yeah. than the thing that, that looked like it was holding up my house? Yeah, I remember those. All right. <clears throat> yep. I saw a few of those octopus things uh, in my... I remember seeing one in my grandfather's house before he moved out of Detroit. Oh, yeah? It was insane. Huge. Yeah, huge. Yeah, man. If you can afford it, move out to the sticks. There's still a lot of houses out there that, that do heat with things like propane, natural gas. You can find a lot of wood-burning uh, stoves. I mean, there's a place out in Armada that I'm actually considering. It's got a wood-burning stove right there in the kitchen next to you know where all the cookery stuff is. Not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. And it looks like a log cabin from the outside. Five acres, not bad at all. Oh. Looking into it. All right. Because, hey, do you know, if Bill Gates is now the largest private owner of farmland in this country. We're fucked. We're fucked. Exactly. Because that, that dude has nothing. There's nothing good coming out down the pipe with that guy behind yeah. it. The infl like Stuff like this, these sorts of news stories are designed to draw attention from the fact that inflation is actually over 30% for the average consumer. Yeah. That you've got people, evil pieces of shit like Bill Gates, buying up more farmland than anybody. China is buying... American farmland. I know, that's insane. We need to stop that. All this inflation, <clears throat> all of these customer goods, they're, you know, them encouraging you to be healthy at any size. You know, eat all the shit. It's not going to hurt you. You're not going to die of heart disease when you're 38. It's all part of the great culling. Yep. All of it. And then that's coming down the pipe. In fact, we're going to do a show on the poke and smoke. It'll be yep. pretty much all alt tech. We're trying to get a couple of uh, guests on for that. We're still mm -hmm. waiting from, for responses. Yep. If you guys uh, didn't watch the show uh, uh, that was on True TV with Jesse Ventura like 10 years ago, 2009, he did a show on the great culling, deliberately calling out a particular doctor. I want to say her name was uh, Dr. Rima. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah Dr. Rima. Yeah, and she's and she so uh, believed this. Just goes she by moved doctor. the hell out of the country. She moved to Panama because they were probably going to kill her. Yep. And she's got receipts for everything that's currently happening right now. It's all part of the plan. And she, they were talking about this 13, 14 fucking years ago. Yep. And of course, at the time, they so they told Ventura, they told uh, a particular Mr. Jones, you're crackpots, this could never happen, you're out of your damn minds, 2020 comes along, oh, wow. Uh, here's another thing. Look the at guide everything stones. going on. They put the guide stones up in like 1978. That pretty much had the blueprint for what they want to do now. They've been planning this shit for a long time. Yeah, and they're completely shameless about it. They put all of it in writing because they, 
they, they, they don't think. They know that the average person, as long as you give them their bread and circuses, is a fucking retard who's not going to stand up for all the rights that he's losing as long as he's got well, comforts. When you look at the actual IQ charts of us humans, half are less than 100. That's just pathetic. Yeah. And it literally, I mean, when you're walking around at 85 IQ, you're literally a functional idiot. Yep. 100 IQ? Eh, yeah. I mean, eh, I mean, it's okay, eh, but mm. you, know, you fall for stupid shit. Yep. Uh, welcome to 2023, ladies and germs. Woo! Just Let's get <laughs> some of these super chats. We don't mean to dish out black pills, but it's very important that you guys know what's going on. Yeah, I mean, this is serious business. Yep. And li- listen, most of you people have relatives that receive this poke and smoke. I hope to God that this doesn't happen, what they're saying about this culling, because a lot of people in my family fell for that horse shit. Yep. They didn't even listen to me. I don't want to be the guy going, I told you so, as they're, they're dying in their beds. It's that cognitive bias. They don't want to believe something this damn scary. And, you know, I, I can't say that I blame them. No. Who but- wants to think that, you know... <laughs> the, the, what the country that's supposed to be the freest country on the planet where you're allowed to do whatever you want, you're allowed to say whatever you want, is suddenly embracing censorship. But it's okay because they're only censoring the other guys that have the bad ideas I don't like. They're not going to come after me. Yeah, I mean, that's so stupid. Of course they are. That's why you have checks and balance to keep them from coming after you. Yep. Bottom line, at the end of the day, <laughs> the owners of this country don't care about us. They give you just enough breadcrumbs to keep you dependent, like an addict. And yep. then when they no longer need you, you're gone. They're already giving you experimental jabs that are going to either kill you or leave you infertile. That's the rumor. That is the rumor. That's the rumor. Just saying. All right, here's some chats here. We got over 900 people watching on YouTube. Thank All you right. for tuning in, everybody. Uh, Shark Dentures, as Raging Golden Eagle calls it, the cost benefit analysis of the value of Poon. Uh huh. Very correct. Thomas Delaney, I think Bo Jiden has two brain cells left arguing for third place. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was very well said. Yeah, yeah. Uh, success pool endeavor is Blake. Check my email to you. YouTube is messing with my money. What the fornication? I can't. I can't imagine that YouTube would ever want to prevent people from donating to a channel that calls out BS. They would never do that, would they? No, <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, did you send it to my personal email or did you send it to the Wadronculus email? So it's like I need to know which one is which because I got two emails now. Yeah, yeah. I had to write that down. That's actually a funny saying. Uh, what do we got here? I'm guessing this one is it. Yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, in Trucker Talk, calling someone a good buddy is the same as calling him a bundle of sticks. That's correct. YouTube won't let me support Pops today. Tried twice tonight. Well, ladies and germs, the best way for Cash you to app. support this show is to go to Cash App. Dollar sign redonkulous, of course, spelled the dyslexic way. That way we get 100% of your donation. Every time you donate on YouTube, they take 30%. They take 30%. So if you donate a buck, we're not even getting a dollar. Yeah, and they're not technically our, our number one priority anymore. They got moved down to, like, number two. Yeah. Maybe three. But we're still working that out. Jail. Uh, it figures, though. So word of warning to everybody, go for the Cash App. Trust me, it's a, it's a lot better to have an alternative in your phone that is not owned by PayPal as well. Yeah, and you so know there are other people that are actually able to give. I don't know what's going on with this person. But. I don't know. It could be because he's a wrench. I don't know. Maybe you're in bad boy jail. Yeah, yeah. Knows. On YouTube, anything is possible. Yeah, and the Stripe works, too. Except for, you know, fair algorithmic <clears throat> promotion that's that doesn't seem to be possible yeah we have stripe i have parallel economy but i don't have it set up yet uh, yeah and we'll get her done uh bart fine my name is bart and i'm an alcoholic too <laughs> there you go bart well you know the first step is admitting you have no a no bart sent me a lot of videos from he's in thailand oh yeah quality Hopefully he didn't hook up with the new owner of Miss Universe while he was in Thailand. <laughs> that would be bad. <laughs> Girl bad. Like a dick, bro. Bad, bad, bad. 
Very bad. Uh, K-Note, Biden has a few classic cars, including a 67 Corvette. Also, Biden trying to kill off the enthusiast car market and the car market in general. Yes. Well, so they don't, they want the cars, they just don't want you to have them. The reason, like, they started using the phrase, like, useless eaters is because they actually feel entitled to the world's resources, resources. and they think that people like you and me we're, we're, are stealing from them. And we're not worthy. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? That is not going to end well for them. No, it's not. People clearly are not reading history because they're too busy trying to make sure you don't read it. Kano, Trump kept documents in a safe. Biden kept them in a box in his garage. Yeah. Pretty much right. Yeah. And, you know, I guarantee you sooner or later, some one of those pieces of paper got rolled into a little tube, and then Hunter used it to snort crack off of a box in his daddy's No, 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 no. He was blowing, you know, cocaine up a hooker's ass. There's always that, too. Or or sniffing it off of somebody's box, probably his niece. Yeah. It's disgusting. Yeah. Fan I am with four clips. And fan I am, I didn't forget about the clips that you sent me on Thursday that we didn't get to. We'll get to them on New Tech when we make the jump later. Uh, Dung is fun. The reason they want gun confiscation is because they're going to do something so horrible to you that you're going to want to use the gun on them. Pretty much. Absolutely correct. People who don't want you to have guns probably don't want to get shot when they betray you. Devlin Alistair, hell of a time to be alive. You are not wrong. Fan I am with four meme picks. Okay, so we're going to get some memes as well. Always look forward to the fan I am dumps. E. Brock, 20 bucks. All right. For the no no square. Stop. Don't touch me there. This is my no no square. Stop. (laughs) Never gets old. (laughs) Oh, my God. I love that. Oh, I love it. It's like, uh, we, we made it first, but Billy Von Baum perfected. Perfected. And that's why we open every new tech stream with it. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss, indeed. Uh, Philip Oliver Holes, good thing I sent 500 and not 600 because they tax y'all. I'm a recruiter and I agree. The military doesn't care about you. They were going to kick me for refusing the poke. I was halfway to retirement. Yep. And, and here's the thing. There is a problem with the officers in the military. Uh, I saw guys that got bar of reenlistment with 10, 12, 14 years in the service because the battalion commander didn't like that guy. Ugh. All right. That is fucked. Or, or a general being able to write you a letter of reprimand, put it in your permanent file, and end your career over bullshit. Bullshit. Listen, this is not the 1800s. All right. In fact, we're selecting our officers completely wrong who, who are in charge inside the military. Okay, Back in the day, when you were the captain of your football team or you were on some kind of corporate board or you were born in the right family, you got a commission and you were able to lead troops in the field. And it was an absolute disaster. And it hasn't gotten any better because they haven't changed the way they're picking soldiers or, or leaders. You need to pick them from people who've actually done the job, have a proven track record, mm-hmm. and then you invest the time and money into them to make them officers. Yeah. Instead, what they do is they bring in yes men and women who look good on paper. Yeah, I, Literally, I, I stepped over hundreds of officers uh, in the selections for rangers and special forces. <laughs> Literally, I, I literally just walked until they broke and I stepped over their fucking whimpering ass. It, it reminds me of Gorman from Aliens. You remember? You know, yeah. that, that they're in the thing. How many drops is this for you, Lieutenant? 38. Simulated. How many combat drops? Uh, two. Including this one. Oh, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what the military is actually like. And, that, and it's almost like James Cameron saw this shit coming back in the 80s. Well, I mean, uh, I mean, he's completely cucked out now, but still. But the thing is, there's so many stories like that from Vietnam as well. Yeah, they they promote these people into positions of power over men who have actually been there in the field yeah. and done the shit and just because they look good on paper and they can play the political game. And it's a whole other game when you're dealing with draft drafted soldiers. Yeah. Those officers have no problem sending you into the meat grinder to meet your maker so they can get another ribbon pinned on. You're damn right. They want the fruit salad on their yeah. chest. Rumor is General Blackledge did that. Ooh. 
That motherfucker. Mother fornicate. I mean, of course, that's just rumor. Of course, rumor control, of course, yeah. It, it's all a conspiracy theory, a term that was invented by the CIA after JFK got his hair cut. That was Gee, I close. wonder why. Yeah, that was, a, that was a close one. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, and they totally didn't have anything to do with MLK either, or no. the big juicy cock statue that is now standing. <laughs> they yeah, spent ten I, I, million dollars on a big black cock. I know. I saw that. I was like, "What the fuck?" Is that? <laughs> but hey, if that's what they want, no, hell, they, right. they're hugging, and it looks like a heart. Maybe from that angle, from over here, nice big cock. Yeah. Looks like one of these. Hey, hey! Your ex would walk by it and get a hot flash. Allegedly. Allegedly, of course. And then more rumor control. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my bad. A uh, smooth criminal hunter got 3.5 mil from a Ukraine female billionaire in 2020 via a wire transfer. I wonder how much Joe got from that. 10% for the big guy, naturally. Yep. And, of course, you know, he had to, you know, stick his junk in the glory hole as well, but, you know, his was too limp. His brand muffin kind of counteracts the effects of the blue pill. Mm. Evil Zombie 2, over a month ago, we started doing deliberate denial ops. The reduction in border crossings was notable. Guess when Biden decided to visit the border? He didn't sign off on any of it. Well, no, you know, because they were too busy when Biden actually visited the border, <laughs> like moving things out and staging the area so the problem wouldn't look as bad as it actually is. Yep. Pathetic. Absolutely correct. By request, of course. Yeah, yeah, I got gotcha. you. Michael Morgan, in the words of the late and great George Carlin, think about how stupid the average person is and realize that half of them are stupider than that. That's right. That's what I'm saying. Damn right. I'm honored that I got to see him live one time uh, before. I never got to time. see him. I never got to see him live. Yep. Uh, I was at the uh, Soaring Eagle Casino in Mount Pleasant. It was 2003. Uh. Amazing. Great show. I could tell then that he was starting to slow down a little bit. I think he died like two years later. Yeah. It, but you know what? He he went to the end. Yeah. That dude was a savage. Absolute savage. Bart Fine wants to know if you've seen his video prank calling Alex Jones. Yeah, I saw it. It's pretty funny. <laughs> what did he do? Uh, yeah, it's just a prank call kind of thing. Just prank call kind of thing. Hey, would you blow me? Line two. <laughs> that was for you, Chief Kickabitch. Uh, Evil Zombie to Blur Blake, it's pronounced Lisdexic. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's all right. Successful endeavors. D-Man couldn't donate. He's a frequent contributor. Yeah, we know D-Man. He's a good dude. It's, well, um, my, my suggestion for D-Man, if you haven't already passed along the message, uh, SCE, is to check in your actual YouTube account to see if there's like an updated in TOS that you have to agree to before you can go about normal shenanigans on the site. Because not too long ago, I think it was last week, I had to do that yeah. on all of our channels. Yeah, yeah. So I saw that. So check it out. And, oh, yeah, 911 people watching on YouTube currently. We're going to do a roll call on everybody while we're doing this here. 769 watching on Rumble. Wow, that's fantastic. That's a lot of that's people. Like 1,600 huh? people right there. 75 watching on Odyssey. 82 outdoing Odyssey on MGTOW.TV because everybody loves the pictures. On uh -huh. DLive is rocking. 35 because mm -hmm. it's not working properly. You and I are going to have a fight, D-Live, at 43 on Twitch. So we're like just under just under 1,900. That's Hell not bad. yeah. Thank you for tuning in tonight, guys. We got lots more chats to go, most of them not safe for YouTube, which is why we're going to go to New Tech, where you get better butts, and, more sluts, and, and uh, you'll lick my nuts. unedited <laughs> conversation. <laughs> We can talk about whatever we want on there. That's why it's the best. And that's why last Tuesday of this month, on New Tech Channels Only, where we're ironing out exactly which <coughs> ones are going to be. We know Odyssey and MGTOW.TV for sure. We're going to be doing our first movie night, or if you can call it uh, RST3K, Miss, uh, Redonkulous Science Theater 3000. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have Unchained Skid on the show with us, and we're going to be lampooning us some Battlefield Earth. Oh, my God, I'm going to rip that apart. It's going to be good times. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, in the future, if it turns out to be popular, we're going to get some public domain titles so that we can do this once a month on all platforms. Fair enough. And, of course, for every hundred bucks, this guy and me, we got to take a shot. <laughs> <laughs> you can blame Joker for that idea. Oh, bad but I, I, I wear it as a badge of honor. I will, I will drink those shots if you really want me to drink them. I, I can't do it. You can? Yes, you can. Yeah, I can. You're going to do it. All right. You're gonna do I'll it. have to sleep. <laughs> Just mix it with gummies, you'll be fine. Uh, hmm. Allegedly. All right. All right.
All right, well, if you're on uh, YouTube there, keep an eye on the chat for the links to follow us on over to New Tech, or you can click on the link tree that's in the Meat Gazer box. It'll outline everything, including where you can donate on Cash App, and we'll see you in five minutes. All right.